savamment organisée pour que l'Afrique, sa croissance, son développement, obéisse à des paliers, à des normes qui nous sont totalement étrangères, faisant en sorte que chacun de nous devienne l'esclave financier, c'est-à-dire l'esclave tout court, de ceux qui ont eu l'opportunité, la ruse, la fourberie, de placer les fonds chez nous avec l'obligation de rembourser. Does the art not get e corps from swallowing revolutions? Can all marked graves not groan under the burden of the secrets they are forced to bear? Can the universe not testify that death will not be the end of ideas? The say who sits in heaven laughs. I bet Sankara laughs with him, see like Saturn, Sankara is a mad stone in the stargaze of liberty. Like a shooting star, he reminds us of fire burning through the coldness of space. Sankara was a prophet before his time and like the voice of sanity in the wilderness, he was snatched mouse. So sin is dirged as the DNA of courage until destiny reveals strength to you. Because only insane men are reborn with roots so deep to pluck firmaments of all from shadows beyond the grave. We are altars of necessity. In crimson tide and purple veins, black blood will always brew kings. We are not ashamed or conquered death may kill men but not revolutions. So let the whispers of our names be a lasting lullaby to the eyes of oppression and betrayer. We will leave our carcasses to spread white flowers, heap our bones into a rock pedestal. We will be monuments by which other men find peace. Until the valley of death become overrun with black silence, we will turn our bones into eyes until we are flowing with honey. So when history remembers the final victory, it will remember our feet as storms of change, our faces as whirlwind of sacrifices. She may not remember our names, but let our lips pay homage Tell our lips to honor forever the one and only Sankara. Sailor. <laughs>